In this video, we are going to talk about the advanced spanning tree features. We are going to talk about several performance related features like appling fast, backbone fast and port fast, as well as few security related spanning tree features like the root guard, BPDU guard, loop guard and the BPDU filter. The performance related spanning tree enhancements are appling fast, backbone fast and port fast. Uplink fast is a feature that is designed to optimize the convergence for the switches that we call the leaf switches. The switches that have uplinks to, say, distribution layer. This is usually applied on the access switches. With this feature, we provide a fast failover in a case of loss of BPDUs from a root port. The backbone fast is a feature that is designed to bypass the max age timer in a case of an indirect failure, indirect topology change in our network. In order for backbone fast to work, it needs to be enabled on all the switches in the network. The reason for this is that it utilizes a special spanning tree based um, root link query RLQ protocol. I'll talk about it in greater detail in just a moment. Finally, Port fast is a feature that is designed to be configured on the ports facing end hosts like computers, servers, routers, maybe other switches in a case that we are 100, sorry, 500% sure there are not going to be any loops. What port fast does, it allows port to bypass the initial listening and learning phases when it transitions from the disabled state. That means that when the port comes out of no shutdown, it is going to start forwarding traffic immediately. Also, what PortFuzz does, it disables generation of TCN BPDUs in a case of a topology change on the port with the PortFuzz enabled. Security related spanning tree enhancements include features like the root guard, the BPDU guard, loop guard, and the BPDU filter. Now, I should point out that security should be taken here in broadest possible terms. Some of these are more like precautionary features that are designed to prevent bad things from happening in network and not necessarily protect the network from some sort of an attack that might be an implicit understanding of the word security in this context. The root guard is a feature that is usually configured on designated ports and it's designed to protect the switch from receiving a superior BPDU. If the port receives a superior BPDU, it will be put in an inconsistent state, in a spanning tree inconsistent state. This is what the root guard does. I will talk about it in a bit more detail in a moment. The BPDU guard is a feature that protects the switch, the port on a switch, from receiving any BPDUs. If any sort of BPDU is received superior or inferior to the one that we already possess on that port or generally on the switch, the port will be put in error disabled state. And the only way to recover from the error disabled state is to bounce the port, shut it down and then bring it out of no shutdown unless the automatic error disabled recovery has been turned on. The loop guard is a feature that is designed to protect non-designated port and here we usually mean the blocking port, not the root ports, but the blocking ports from a sudden loss of BPDUs. If a port that is in a blocking state stops receiving BPDUs, it will eventually move into forwarding state. If the BPDUs are being dropped due to the misconfiguration on the switch on the other side of that port, we may end up having a bridging loop, which is dangerous. This is why the loop guard is actually going to put the port in a loop in consistent state if it stops receiving BPDUs. If we continue receiving BPDUs on that port, the port will move out of an inconsistent state. The BPDU filter is quite possibly the most complex of all these features, even though it may not, may not sound like that at first glance. First of all, it can be used to filter inbound, outbound or both kinds of BPDUs. By both kinds, I mean those coming out of the port and those coming in to the port. This behavior depends how the BPDU filter is configured, whether it's configured globally as a part of a very complex relationship with the port fast command or whether it was configured on per port basis. Let's now look in all these features, both 
security and performance based in greater detail.